soak it in one last time. It's, it's, it's actually bright out right now. But uh, whew, what a good overnight out here in San Diego. Now we're getting ready to head back to the airport, jump on a plane, and uh, we are gonna do a couple of trips in and out of San Jose. I believe we go up to San Jose, back down to San Diego, back up to San Jose, and then one last one over to Phoenix. Done for the night, uh, actually done for the trip. But I have my Hawaii qual coming up, which is gonna be awesome. Fortunately, I gotta do it right away. So I'm gonna get back from this trip, uh, commute out to LA. I'm gonna go do another trip um, out of LA to Maui. And uh, then I'll be fully checked out to go fly to Hawaii. So that's gonna be cool. Um, anyways, yeah, hey, let's go uh, get to the airport. Get it, then I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it, then I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. What is up, guys? Hey, look at, look at Dusty work, man. Dusty is working that box. I remember what it was like. Last <laughs> week. Yeah. Dusty's about to go to upgrade, as we talked about before. You can see in his his face and there's a certain grin that you know he's getting close. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, here we go. On our way to San Jose, Padres to a K, and here is what it looks like on the route. It's beautiful. All the weather is actually uh, well, kind of over Phoenix right now, <laughs> which is where we're gonna go later, which. Hopefully it'll be gone. Uh, hopefully it blows out of there, yeah. Oh, look at that. It just goes all the way up there, so. Um, hour and three minutes. We at uh, 40,000 feet. That yeah, should be good. Hey, so, Dusty. Yes, sir. What would you, uh, advice would you give somebody uh, that is, because Dusty's still at the Air National Guard, the famous, uh, world famous okay. Copperheads. So, uh, what advice would you give, uh, say, someone that's applying to the Copperheads right now uh, to become a pilot? Uh, specifically at the Copperheads, uh, so uh, a couple of things. If you, if you want to be a pilot, uh, one of the first things we're going to ask at the Copperheads is what flying have you done already to, to prepare yourself for a, a flying career? Because uh, you know, nothing tells us that you want to be a pilot like already going out there and being a pilot. So uh, that's one of the big things. Uh, Copperhead, another thing that, uh, that we'd like to see out there is uh, some Phoenician uh, Phoenician people, uh, some people that have ties to the area that we know are going to stay in the area and, and, and not take a pilot training slot and then end up in uh, you know, another tanker unit someplace else. Um, and I, I would say the third thing is uh, uh, similar to the Southwest hiring process, we, uh, we like to know that uh, when we go out on a 30 or 60 day deployment that it's going to be a good time. Uh, so really personality uh, based interviews we just want to know that uh, not just that you're going to stay uh, stay in phoenix interested in flying but that uh, you're a good person to hang out with and spend time with um, so i'd say those are the big three that i'd recommend and the best way for that last that last piece the best thing that i would recommend is is showing your face out in the guard actually coming out for drill weekend um, letting us know a little bit about yourself uh, show up enough that uh that we know who you are but but not so often that uh <laughs> that we uh we question whether or not we've already hired you or not so <laughs> that'd be my advice for copyright well that, that's a good that last one's a good point because we've all seen it um we appreciate the enthusiasm but uh yeah be uh be present be memorable and then uh you know let that kind of linger don't you just don't linger <laughs> yes <laughs> but, uh, all right, thanks for that, Dusty. We're uh, looking good there. Put it on the bus. And uh, we're going to get ready to get out of here. We got to, again, we're bouncing up and down the coast today, just going up to San Jose, back down to San Diego, back to San Jose, and then that last long one home. Long. It's uh, probably an hour and 20 minutes to get back home from San Jose to Phoenix. But uh, then that'll be it. Finish up about midnight. Um, I have to commute out the next day to uh, LA that evening because that following day I start my uh, ETOPS call, uh, finally, uh, actual over water lake. So I got some studying to do. <laughs> we've done it before. Actually, Dusty and I yeah. have done it before. Yeah, together we've, a few we've, times. we've had four engines though, so. Yeah, a little bit different. Different. We have two engines this time, so a little more critical. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. You know how Dusty's got that OCD about. 
how his uh, how his paper is. I'm just gonna mess with it for a little bit. <laughs> Let's see what he says. But we'll see. Anyways, uh, last leg home, uh, last leg, best leg, hour and 23 minutes. We're still Here's our route of flight home. It's gonna be a real quick one, just an hour and 23 minutes on the way back. And uh, we had an altitude 39,000 feet. Should be really nice. And uh, again, one more leg and then we're done. And uh, I start another trip tomorrow. That's how it works. <laughs> Looks like Dusty's back there just kind of hanging. What happens when we have a little bit of time in between flights? Just kind of kick back. Hang out in the back a little bit. So. Good to see you guys. As always, one more leg and here we go. Hey, it's been great flying with everybody. Uh, pleasure flying with Ernie again. It's been a while. Last time we were in different uniforms, but uh, as always, uh, always great to fly with you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next week. We're back home in Phoenix, by the way. And uh, we're just running out of battery in our uh, fuel pro. Get it, then I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up.